Okay, next movie. In our next film, Louis Mal's Damage is, I think, one of the year's best pictures. A fascinating portrait of a self-destructive married man, an English politician, played by Jeremy Irons, who becomes involved with an exotic single woman, Juliette Benash, who is dating his son. Their affair is like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Here's one of their first conversations after making love. My brother killed himself. I had to decide. I made up my mind. Because I could have gone under. But I wasn't going to. Remember, damaged people are dangerous. You know they can survive. His son doesn't realize what's going on, which makes the scene where he tells his family he wants to marry the woman more than awkward. It's frightening. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry. I was always sure you two had this in mind, so I'm just pleased I've hastened the announcement. Well, you have. You have. <laughs> and drink a toast. Come on, children. To Martin and Anna. The screenplay constantly raises the stakes on the cheating couple. Here, in a terrific scene, the girl's mother, played by the great Leslie Crone, lets Jeremy Irons know that she's aware of what's going on between him and her daughter. I wanted you throughout the meal. You can't even look at her. You must get out of the way. Damage has been in the news because it was originally rated NC-17 for adults only. With a few trims, it's been rated R for its sexual scenes that seem quite logical to me as both participants are exercising demons. Despite all the ratings controversy, Damage is not a film of cheap thrills. It's a serious study of how adults get themselves into the kind of wild situations you read about in newspapers and magazines. What I like about this story is that it is written smart, written with a topicality so that the characters seem credible, even though their actions are often strange. Louis Mal is a fine filmmaker who tackles tough subjects, incest and murmur of the heart, and now this, I think Damage is a real special film. I think it's really special, too. This is one of the most compelling films I've ever seen about eroticism, yes. and I want to talk about one scene. The uh, Jeremy Irons character is at a cocktail reception of some uh, sort. A woman walks into the room walks over and introduces herself. She says, I am Anna, and uh, I'm a friend of your son's. Right. And then the two of them look at each other. Yes. And there's not another word. And the, the look continues until the silence is frightening. Mm -hmm. And they're locked into each other's eyes. You realize it's what the French call the thunderbolt. They've been struck. And they are helpless in mm -hmm. the hands of this erotic passion that they feel for each other. That scene where they're simply looking at each other and the silence grows and grows, is one of the most erotic scenes I've ever well, seen in, in a movie. In addition to that, I think <clears throat> also uh, Louis Mal lets the camera play, particularly on Juliette Binoche's mm -hmm, face. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect a great performance from Jeremy Irons, and it is it is wonderful. Yes, He's watching is. this yeah. guy just, de you know, deteriorate. Mm -hmm. But the, he lets the camera sit on her, and she is mm -hmm. able to do magical things with her face, so that we're wondering what she's going through. What's her? What's her? story, really. Yeah, you know, in a lot of erotic movies, for example, Basic Instinct, the people hardly even seem to be making love to each other. They seem to be going through some kind of uh, an advanced aerobics class yes. in bed. Yes. These people seem to be yes. connected to each other and obsessed with each other in a way that is very palpably convincing. It's a terrific film. When we come back